let's get right on. We're back here with the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. Today, we embark on a journey the likes of which we may not ever return from. More than likely we will return from it. You only have a limited time to get through to the Krusty Krab before the roadblocks fall into place. Got it. We wouldn't want roadblocks. I'm stuck here with you. That's right. So you better hurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Patrick, please. So we're going to do um, all the, uh, the the quests of this mission. Ah, oh, those broadcasts are still going on. What's even the point when everyone's bucket head controls? We're going to get on all these quests, and then this is the episode where we're going to go and get all the chests in the world, because I don't believe there are any chests in the last level. So by the end of this episode, we'll have every token and um, chest, except for the final one. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to... <laughs> Go fast. Sorry, I did forget about that. <laughs> Even though anyone stopped talking about it. I was th I was thinking it would be fun um, if, before using a guide, which I'm likely to do anyway, uh, maybe we just tr gave it, a, you know, like a decent attempt, ow, at um, uh, trying to find some of them on our own. Uh, some of these oil sticks are bluer than the others. I don't know if that means anything. Um, and I was thinking, it was my thought process distinctly and honestly and truthfully, candidly, that um, we might have uh, some luck if we had tried that strategy that worked pretty well for Planktopolis where we take like five steps forward and then like step backwards to make sure we didn't miss anything behind us because that's where they love hiding stuff is like right around the corner you just passed. Gosh, it's so hard to tell when the... Uh, something is actually meant to uh, block your path or not. I don't know how much of it is... Ow! I don't know how much of it is ow anyway. Oh, I'm very lucky you can actually smash through that for a minute. I thought it was just going to bounce backwards. Can you get through this? Is this a brickable? Nope. It's been covered off. Please don't any d debris block my path because I was just experimenting. Oh, why is this all oil? Golly. Dang. Well, it's fine. I wonder if there's some way to break that uh, because it, it seemed like there was a path there. Unless this is just, this is genuinely the same map as it was <gasps> before. Oh, thankfully they stopped it when they noticed there's someone there. Uh, maybe it is the same map as before, but just like in reverse and ow. No, yeah, it must be, because there was a big jump at the beginning. Um, oh, that was a secret path I just missed. Uh, so I, anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, really, but this is the same map as before, I think. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Oh, heck. Don't want to get fucked. <laughs> well spotted. I... No! That's not falling debris, that's just a, like a security measure, that one. Oh, are we going through the park now? Oh god, this place was so nice. Now it's all hot sauce! No! How far back do I go? No, oh, shucks! Oh man, this one's gonna be pretty hard, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to save my my nitrous as much as possible whenever there is not an obvious debris storm but rain on my head. I got a burger, it's fine. I repaired my burger with the burger. It was a repair burger for the big burger. <laughs> Avoid the spikes for tires, cause I'd like to keep my tires intact. I don't know how those would really hurt our tires anyway, cause our tires aren't full of air, they're just pickles. But don't even question it. Yeah! Okay, I thought maybe if I charged into it it would break open. It looks like you should be able to go in there. Oh, that's why I went on that whole tangent about is this just the same map backwards? And that's why they had to cover it off. I see. It's cool that they actually used the proper same map and all. And actually, this is another part that's somewhat doctored for the um, uh, the, the game's purposes, because in the original, they don't they don't get the paddy wagon back after it gets et by that monster. Ah, oh, there's a secret path play. I missed it again. They just get launched directly from the ocean top into the Crusty Crab. They don't have to have to go through any of Blanktopolis, really. <laughs> so this and the last level are sort of added. This is around where we died last time, right? In the Oh, right, it was in the, the, the park just up ahead. I, we should probably do a bit of off-roading since there's the time pressure is a little less here. What was that about food? I... Oh, well... Ah... Uh, oh, I think you might have said, don't go so fast, I get food sick. Probably didn't need that repair as much as I... Uh, thought I did a moment ago, but it's probably better if I go fast that I don't get blocked by any falling debris. Actually, there hasn't been too much since that was such a small patch of hot sauce that I draw over. Hasn't been too much uh, falling debris that seemed like it would block our path since those first, like, two. Yep. Yeah. But there are probably a few things that will expire if 
we don't go fast enough. That like that might have been a gate just then that uh, could close on us. Nay! Is there any reason we couldn't have just driven outside of the? Oh, that was the finish. Wow, I sort of didn't realize we were that close. So it works for me. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Why is this happening with a black screen game? We didn't get any chests that time. Right. Time trials, let's see how this goes. Historically, the time trials for the, the paddy wagon bits haven't been too bad. Hey, Mindy. Looking for a more manly challenge? Uh, we're supposed to be getting at the end of the game where we realize that we were being toxically masculine the whole time and uh, that being a kid is, and by extension of any gender identity is fine, and that being a man isn't everything, Mindy. So I'd appreciate it if you back off on this whole whatever you just said. Okay, how about just a little more manly? Mini manly? I'll give you a limited amount of time <laughs> to get to the end of the road. Beat the time, and I'll reward you. Sounds good. Sounds like a mutually beneficial arrangement. So how long, how much, how long do we have for this place? Three minutes, okay. So we did, three minutes. The speed one's gonna be like a minute and a half. Oh no. <laughs> and we also gotta be on the lookout for chests around now. I think this ladder seems suspicious. There's gotta be a chest up here. Oh no, it just breaks, Never mind. All right, I think you want to save the nitrous for any instances where... Oh, wait, what's with these two banners here? Nope, it's nothing. I'm going to get blocked off on the road in a minute. Oh, wait, maybe the debris falling thing doesn't happen in this uh, one. I'm thinking maybe we should save the nitrous for any instance where you have to go over the oil slick and, and lose a bunch of traction, because then it'll at least get you back on track right after. Dun, 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 dun. Man, the ones in uh, Sunday Driving were, like, extremely easy to find, and this one, I'm, like, I'm really, really... Throwing my eyes all around and finding not much. Is there some way to get that billboard gone? I'm not sure. Is there anything on the left here? I know I'm, I'm sort of forsaking my time, but the first one is usually pretty chill, so I'm, I'm using this this time to scout the place out. Oh no, the ring challenge is gonna be not fun here. Four chests? There are four chests here? Okay, there's gotta be at least one on this uh, secret path here that's sort of camouflaged, but... Oh, one. Thankfully we got one. But no idea about the others. Actually, this bit was pretty close to the end, though, wasn't it? Oh, does it pick random ones to close each time? That's fun. In a sort of dastardly way. What if there's a chest right at the base of this ramp? <laughs> that was so funny. Spider was like, going up! And it just slowly came to a halt. Now, there was a chest in this place. In the less planktopolis ish version. So there may be one here around like the corners and somewhere around. Somewhere, somewhere around an awkward place that you wouldn't expect to have to go. Let's explore around in a bit. Because I very desperately needed these four chests as part of this episode. Man, wow. There's gotta be one around this place. Look how many, look how much open space there is to hide one. Uh, oh, there's one just kind of hanging out right over there. I'm pretty stunned I missed that one actually. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you. Well, there's our time for time forsaken, but uh, let's keep our. Oh, did something? Oh, does this does this was actually? I think maybe if if you haven't done, you have to do all the time trials before doing the time failing the time doesn't actually kill you. Perhaps. I kept mixing it up in my head because I was like, I could have sworn when I, was, when I was a kid that if the time ran out, you just insta died. But then it didn't happen one of those other times, and I was confused. I think what it is is if 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 you have if you've done both of the challenges, then you're allowed to drive around freely and do whatever, even if you run out of time. But before those challenges are done, if you run out of time, it's a, a game over. Nevertheless, I'm so glad that one was completely superfluous. That's two chests, but less than you would want. Probably the time trial won't be awful. It'll be like two minutes twenty, maybe. I don't know. We're not renegades, we're, uh... I don't know. I don't have a better argument. Sure, we're renegades. Fine, we're renegades. I accept my position as a renegade now. Big question is, is this little shortcut here, uh, I, actually a shortcut? I assume it is, because you're not going on any water here. So you have more traction. Get a little bit of a boost going on here. Super slide! I've never seen someone so excited to be actively veering out of control. Oh, that does close, absolutely. If you're not fast enough. Oh, you want to be fast enough then. That's a very important step. 
What? Just if they made it look like a ramp and there's a little sign that says bat Batty Wagon go here. Why would that... Why? <laughs> this is the end here though, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll have the time here. And I, obviously that was pretty uh, weak in terms of... Uh, oh god, the timer still goes while you fly? That's not good. Here is your reward. Thank you. Alright, let's tackle that ring challenge. Then the super time challenge. And then it's time to go back and start getting chests. Do you want another challenge? Nope. Yeah. We love a challenge. Whoa. Drive down the road <laughs> and go through each ring as it appears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you. <laughs> there wasn't even a period in the text box. It's just... Whoa. <laughs> okay, this place isn't too long, though, so there is that. It's just that it's very, very perilous. Appropriately perilous, I'd say. They seem to be giving you a pretty generous amount of time for these. I think we did. Gotta focus on these things here. I didn't have a choice. It was right. No, oh, come on. The same boulder. Go away. What is it? You, well, I'm not sure. I, I ain't your, your buddy. buddy. Go, Go away. away. Something broke something. Yay. Ah. I tend to agree. My spongy friend. Oh, please. With the oil and the... Ugh. Oh, narrowly avoided that. This boulder right here absolutely needs to leave well enough alone. I guess the real thing is just to go fast so <laughs> it doesn't catch you up. No! Oh my god, that was so close. I didn't realize that one was moving. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay, it's going to tell me which one to go through, surely. Oh, no, it isn't, because they're random each time, right? So they can't put it in there. They have to put it in. No! Don't disappear. That would be most counterproductive to me. Winning! It's fine, there's another one right here. <laughs> Everyone stop panicking. I'm turtling my shoulder, that's not good. I'm going to develop back problems by age 30 if I keep that up. Now my back hurts enough as it is from all these rapscallions and their scooters playing on my lawn. Oh, this is the end right here, this turn? Oh, right, oh, good, okay. Wasn't too, uh, wasn't too bad, that one, wasn't too bad. I don't think any of them could be really as difficult as, uh, was it? Is, I think the the you no know, weenie parking anytime one gave us a lot of trouble, right? <laughs> That's my memory. Here's your reward. Thank you, man. The amount of variations of that line that poor Scarlett Johansson had to record. Well done. Here's a reward. You did it. Here's a reward. It's time for your reward because you did the thing. <laughs> so on and You're so forth. You're getting to be a great driver, SpongeBob. Well, that's flattering, but I don't believe you. Oh, thanks, Mimi. So you deserve a really <laughs> manly time challenge. Really, really manly. All right, get to the end of the road in time, and I'll give you a reward. Part of the time, the reason these games are so top tier is because they got most of the original cast for them, and they are just firing on all cylinders. They're doing an excellent job in these games. 235. Um, I forget what we made it in last time. It was like 240 or 250, but I think we can handle 235. Bum, bum, bum. Why am I stopping for the nitrous? It's uh, an investment. That's you because. Oh! Ah! Ow! <laughs> that was so violent, the speed at which it launched right into her forehead. I'm running over lots of stuff that you should not run over in a car, but it's too late because I already did it, so let's stop complaining. I wonder if rat smashing those statues there does anything. They're all stood up in a line, and it looks important. I actually am going to splurge this repair here, and then I just at the same time. 
and I would like to keep one on my person at all times uh, uh, so that I can get out of a, uh, a rough situation if it appears that I'm not going to be able to otherwise. I want to take it away here because there's no water, so easier traction. Even though I think the road is maybe a little longer than the water-based one, but... Alright, uh, actually I'm going to use my boost here because there's one right up ahead, as well as this... Yes. Okay. I don't know what the best way to the park would be. Um, oh, I should have changed. Why did I use one on the this ramp? That was silly. Because I should have used one to uh, get a hold of... <laughs> We're out of control! Whee! <laughs> um, I should have used one to uh, regain some of my traction on this spot. Fool that I am. It's fine. Don't break our stride. Just got to keep going. It's just right through this gate and then around one or two more bends. I'm not getting the sense we're going to make it this time. All right, I'm just going to go ham with our nitrous this time because we're right at the end here. No point in saving it. It's literally like right around this next corner. Ow. Oh, we might actually make it. Oh, yeah, we're going to make it. Sweet, okay. Whew. It was kind of hard to gauge because I the, the, the place is just sort of shaped weirdly. And 30. Yeah! Whew! All right, first try on the on the tough time challenge. This, that's good. I like that. Excellent, guys. Here's your reward. Thank you, Mindy. Rum, ba, rum, bum, 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 bum. Would you like to try and beat your best time on this road? I wouldn't, but I'd like to explore around a bit. We sure would, Mindy. And this time we won't get lost. Dubious, at best. But I assume the um, the wreckage can still sort of block us and all. Oh, is that a ramp right here? Oh, it looks an awful lot like one, doesn't it? <laughs> How come we're going sideways? <laughs> <come> we going sideways? <laughs> I ask myself this every day, Patrick. Well, this is sort of a funky bit of... I'm probably going to get destroyed by the debris. I mean, I, I like I, like it's going to challenge fail me, but I'm just I'm taking this time to explore before I go back uh, looking for chests elsewhere. The thing is, the, the debris only triggers when you get close to it, so it's not like there's a real hard time limit before you get up to any debris. Uh, I think we don't want to jump down the pit directly to hell that with fire spewing out of it, probably. Were I to guess? Again, I have to assume that you don't actually need to say that stuff into a megaphone if you're if you have a direct a direct link into their brains. Oh, Domino's! Hello. Cool. Wait, so what is that? Did that make a chest appear at the end? Surely the dominoes does something. That was so funny. Oh, oh, that's what opens up this secret way. I figured it was weird that it was just kind of hanging around there. Great, so we're only missing one then. So there was one where we found one in the secret passage, one in there just then, and then one in the park. So wherever we're looking for the last one. Is it gonna be that? I keep forgetting you have a horn. Ooh, and let's see what new stuff we got. Um, Mindy art pack. Uh, Mindy? <laughs> oh, interesting. Some enemies that never came to be. <laughs> I kind of wish they did have that, like, the the TV colors bars <laughs> before she loaded in. But it's, the static is pretty funny, too. Ooh, interesting. Another way that they could have communicated. Alexander Clam Bell! I don't I don't want to think too hard about why this is part of the Mindy art pack. Mindy just has photographs of SpongeBob fighting for his life that she frames on the wall. And which one is Story Movie 9? This one. Plankton Sound Pack. Uh, no, no. Uh, idiot. Uh, French for a uh, handsome man. <laughs> Stop that. You're just too righteous. Why, thank you. Right, so as we said before, there's already one uh, chest we found in this uh, tunnel on the secret passage side to our left, so probably we're not going to find another here just yet. But... In this last little stretch, I would believe there being one. Uh, let's try smashing. Oh, I got blocked off by some other kind of debris that I didn't notice. This is unfortunate that I can't translate this to you explicitly, but um, the rumble pack in this game is, is used to awesome effect. Anytime there's debris falling like that, it goes off. But also, anytime you use the nitrous, there's just like one little like, boom, that like kicks as you start uh, to use it. But also uh, getting hit by stuff like that seems to do it as well. Surprisingly, smashing that didn't do it. <laughs> but when you use it, it just goes like boom, like there's one little like rumble uh, in the controller, which is awesome. Maybe this, this looks so suspicious, this billboard here. Can't place why exactly. It's just because I don't remember it being there before. 
But I guess a lot of this wasn't here before, to be fair. Right, we gotta go fast here. This is where I just lost. Right, no, sorry. It's past this park that I want to investigate carefully. Yay! Looking all around, because this is the part I would normally be going fast through to not get this thing closed on us. All right, I think that's maybe the last bit of debris that actually properly blocks you, so let's have a look around now carefully. Could there be a chest? But oh! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Oh, there was more debris. <laughs> we got the chest, though! We're not gonna have to look up nearly as many of these as I was expecting. So how many have we got left? Only one, two, three, four, five remain! Bad guy art pack, let's have a look. These guys aren't the bad guys. I object to your characterization there, uh, thereof. All right, now these things, the Mervs they're called. Murderous Envoy of the Reaper variety. Right, and there's the mini ones that don't have the uh, the, the missile launchers. Critter. <laughs> Poppers are these, what are these are called. Oh, cool, there's a, a Goofy Goober style popper, which you don't obviously get to see. Some more spawners. Bucketotron, we sure didn't fight that. <laughs> I like how the, the, the packs have a theme, but like now and again, they'll just be like a picture of some <laughs> firefighters. Is that the Goofy Goober spinner at the bottom? Yeah, it is. <laughs> got to see the Thug Tug one, although it's pretty different than it was in the final one. In the final one, it's like an old captain. That's fun. Well, this place has been 100% then. Chaos ahead, expect delays. <laughs> so what's the first level where we didn't have all the chests? It was 3,000 miles, surely. Oh, oh no, we got all the ones 3,000 miles. Oh, it's rub a dub dub. Well, what the hey? Let's give a let's give like a each level that we're missing a chest in. We'll give it like a once over. See if we can spot it. Constantly looking behind us to make sure we're not missing anything, and then we'll use a guy for them. Okay, everyone, be on the sharpest lookout you can for uh, for glowing green stuff. We're going to have all the treasure, and it will come get some. As everyone knows, I find these slide levels positively uh, mind bendy when you consider how much opportunity there is for like. Jumping over the edge one place and ending up somewhere else on the track. Okay, let's just get a bird's eye view. I know we already found a chest up here, but maybe this will help us spot one way in the distance or something. Because they do seem to kind of glow green a bit before they properly render in. I'm not sure. Chugga 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 chugga. Woo! Woo! I believe that um, two that we found were there was the one on the place that I just we just went up and over, and there was one right at the end when there's that bit where you're jumping over all those rocks. Kind of like the ones right above us. Actually, these rocks right above us. Did we? Is there ever? Was there ever an opportunity to jump on them? I don't remember one. That seems. Weird. I was trying to look behind me. Oh, you can't really. Okay. That seems weird that those uh, platforms were up there when I'm pretty sure there's not a bit where you actually jump that like that way. Or uh, not that we found anyway. Did Mickey bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? Do you mean the pain train? Ooh, I could jump over to another. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me. It won't let me. At least this place has checkpoints, even though that would be that would suck for the time trial. <laughs> That'd be really tedious and useless because I'm never gonna hit the time trial if I fall off and die. But it's useful for exploring for chests. Come on, surely you can get up to this platform from here. Thank you, Hans. All the battle, battle. Sorry, SpongeBob. What is down here? This is a place we've already been. I take it, but I can't remember. Uh, oh, this is like right at the beginning. Shucks. No, no, not right at the beginning. This is this bit here. I see. Ooh. There was a whole bunch of manliness there that I hadn't picked up. That's probably going to be important for finding this chest. This indicates that we have not been there ever. Where was that? Ah, I already forgot. I'll try. Okay, so below us is just that bit again. But I think we should, we should take as many opportunities as possible to jump to places where I'm not positive if I've been there. Like this one. Uh... I no, we were just here. I remember getting hit by that boulder. Okay, I, I, I'm usually averse to going... Oh, like down here, there's there's a platform. What is this place and why? Uh, we're going to the secret land of wonders now. Ah, there are boulders here. Well, what is this place? No, why? Why? Oh. <gasps> this is where the chest is. Excellent. So I don't know what... I, I don't know at what point I jumped onto that platform. But sweet. So where does this bring you? Oh, this is just an alternate route to getting to the end, is it? Oh, cool. I don't know where that path started. What the hell was that floating in the sky? Right above the, the finish line. I'm not seeing things, right? There was something floating in this, where? What was that? That was weird. SpongeBob, I think we didn't get the time. Excellent, that's what I just got then. What was it? Story Movie 10. 
so after this one very well next objective lies in oh, there are two we were missing in rock slide I know it's shocking, isn't it? Well, at least without the pressure of the time trial, we should be able to slow down and have a bit of a better look around. But I feel like we exhausted a lot of pathways the first time we tried this. I think there was one chest we actually were even able to see. We just didn't weren't didn't know how to get to it. Is that right? Am I remembering that correctly? Okay, gotta look for side paths and any paths that we can jump to. I, I think where we're gonna be missing the most of them is inside the monsters, because there are usually like multiple ways to get in and out of the monsters. How are those things way at the bottom there? Okay, so there's a, there's a bunch of manliness up there. Is there also a chest? Th that seems like an, a, a place worth investigating. Oh, there is a chest up uh, up, up there. So I need we need to be up at this point. I'm going to hop off and see if prior to this, uh, I can find some way into the top of there. Like maybe if you go along... Wait, what happens if you go down from here and not up into there? Oh, this is the same thing. Right, okay. Is this anything? I, I don't believe this is anything, y'all. I think this is a place you are not meant to go. <laughs> oh, there's road down there. Damn it. Okay, so let's slow down. So to, in order to get to that one that's all colorful, you need to show up on the right. This these Those platforms on the right here. Oh, can you just jump down here? Is it as easy as that? Oh, no, this is backwards now. Wait, donkey all confused. I thought this was the same plat... Oh, no, I'm wrong. I thought this one twisted back up around. I... Oh, wait, never mind. This one, it is the one with the chest. Well, that doesn't explain at all how to get to the one with all the manliness on it, but you know what? I don't actually care. As mentioned previously, we're at the end of the game where SpongeBob and Patrick realize that there's no rush to grow up, and that masculinity doesn't mean abandoning your child itself. Masculinity or adulthood. As such, that's my excuse for not going after those extra collectibles. With the underlying motivation being I don't want to. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that the last one is past this point. Because there's, there's, this, there's this whole big last uh, uh, labyrinthine part. What did we just pick up, by the way? Magnetic pickup. Ooh, we pick things up, like, more easily? Is that it? Pro hacks. Oh, yeah, wow. Our range, the range at which we pick things up is bigger. I mean, that's a little busted, but sure. Got enough extras to actually have a, a, a one that improves gameplay. <laughs> or, like, improves our chances in, with gameplay. Makes us more powerful, kind of thing. That is mucho appreciated. What do you want to bet the last chest is also in this last sort of puzzle, uh, twisty, turny bit of monsters? Gonna want to look all the way around so we can at least have an idea of where we were meant to be. We're meant to be getting to. Okay, this isn't much here. Let's let's hop off and try again. I get the sense that from this point on is is where this last chest is. So far, we haven't had to look anything up, which is so sweet. Uh, where did we go last time? I genuinely don't remember. Oh, we went up. So let's go down from here and get into this entrance. Although this place is, this particular monster is pretty small. I don't see, oh, okay, there's the chest. Uh, how would one get to that one? Just like that, apparently. No, it's the wrong way. Wait, I don't understand, ow. Should've seen that. Should've seen that. I don't understand how I were meant to get to this path or nor where, uh, okay, well, there's no getting back now. Let's, let's return. I have no idea how much of this we're doing the right way or how much we're like totally skipping stuff because I don't understand where the actual secret entrance is. But we actually, we at least know where the last one is now. That's a good step. Okay, so what if I just jump? No, no, I don't want to jump to the left too early because then we'll be behind it. We want to wait till it's like right here and then, yeah. Oh, and the magnetic pickup sounds with the chests too. Exceptional. Booyakasha, that's all the chests in Rockslide. I didn't expect we'd get the... I was certain we'd have to use a guide for them. Yeah, the story movie unlocked. Sweet. Only two more remain. Dope. And I think the only two we were missing one in was uh, Now That We're Men and the Garbage Dump, right? Now That We're Men, let's do it. Gonna just do one uh, gloss over of the whole thing. You know, I guess I should probably go do that um, combat bit you're supposed to do with Spongebob that we skipped before. This is every chance the chest is just up there somewhere. It's kind of a shame that the, the, uh, uh, the several of the unlockable costumes you only get much later, like uh, into the, the chest unlocks. Because it means you don't get too much time to play with them. For instance, I can tell you that one of the two unlockables we don't have is a costume for Spongebob, which we're gonna have, like, no time to use. And I probably won't use it for the last boss because, well, without saying too much, perhaps that is saying too much. Maybe I'll cut that. Whoa, that's a lot of rubble in the sky. It's the same kind of rubble that's on- oh, no, not, not exactly the same. It's a similar kind of rubble to the stuff that's on that chest there, or, uh, platform there. I- well, this is a mistake. Oh, boy. Yeah! There's still something, oh, well, that wasn't good. There is still, maybe these are just to, to like, to give you some practice at using your, your sponge bowl, but they, the, these, they still seem very weird, don't they? These little rows of monitors here. 
Like, is there something you can get to by jumping across these? The fact that they're right beside this pillar and everything seems so weird. And what's the deal with that? Everybody there. Is there something? Can you make that go down if you throw something at it? Huh, that's weird. You can't ledge grab it. I mean, we have the magnet attract, so we got it from there that way, but I get the sense there's going to be something where, or, well, I get the sense. Uh, I have one one possible theory is that there's going to be some situation where you're going to put uh, things like down like this to wall jump on, and they're going to go back up and reveal something, but you probably walked past it the first time kind of dealio because you were just intending to go forward. Oh, I'm not going to make this. Oh, I made it. It's fine. Never mind what I was saying. Sticky bomb. Bang. And there's not going to be any chests hanging around secretly right at the end of the bungee challenge. I guess not. Maybe there's one in the bungee challenge, but I think we'd have seen it, probably. I will guitar you in the face! Oh wow, guitar doesn't really bother you as much as getting shocked. Oh, no, well, I felt. It's fine. I think it's a problem. If I throw this at you again, do you take me some other special and funky way, or do you just have me right back? I'm gonna guess all you do is take me back, but... Like, maybe riding it back makes one appear or something? Probably not. Usually they're less obtuse than that. Oh, those poppers shoot way slower. That's why I was... Well, I found them easier to find them easier to deal with. I didn't realize the new ones would have any kind of speed upgrades or anything of the such. Anything of the such? <laughs> Whoa, hello. Oh, that's just an effect. I thought there was a platform coming out of the wall. Mercifully, the guitar hits both of those at the same time. Big wide open rooms like this are almost always suspicious to me. I'm trying to remember where we found the chests that we do have. This is one. This, this one has five. This is like. Probably the one with the most chests, or maybe unless Shell said he did ahead had more. No, not even Shell said he did ahead had five. I think this is the only one with this many. So we found one uh, from the, the stuff at the very beginning. There's one on the uh, lava out here, and I straight up don't remember where the other two we found were. Oh wait, and there was one right above the combat arena challenge. There's three. I'm trying to decide to, to figure out whether because it's it's an odd number whether there are going to be more after the checkpoint or before the checkpoint. I'm gonna guess before the checkpoint because. After the checkpoint is is basically just this little pavilion here. Like there are the, there are the stairs there. It's like right. It's it's not a big place. But there's obviously a lot of stuff up there that I, we haven't interfaced with. And you know I never figured out what combination of trampolines to set to get there. But it's just a bunch of mainly, so I don't really feel the need. Right, well, let's head to this uh, combat arena and see if there's an obvious chest somewhere within it. Make no mistake, I still feel cool as heck that we skipped it the first time. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll entertain your little your little. Uh, your little shindig here, your little... Oh, it's it's all fun and games to you, is it just the idea of murdering me? I'll entertain the possibility that this could be some fun. It will actually definitely be easier now that we've got the max upgrades and all the weapons, uh, the martial skills. Right, so by my life action, you take the trampoline and it basically just brings the whole platform up. But is there going to be a chest hiding somewhere at any point during this? Can I maybe scout ahead using the guitar? Oh, I can break these things using the guitar. That's enough out of you. It's weird, if you slam right into them, they're sort of invulnerable. If you actually manage to get the target lock, some of these will smash. Their hitbox is a little wonky or something. What were those things I was targeting over there? I'm not really sure what would be over on that side. Right, um, oh, don't tell me that's all that's over here. There's gotta be a chest somewhere right around this spot, surely. Where else could we be missing one? Don't tell me I did that whole fight for nothing. Alright, it looks like maybe I did that whole fight for nothing. <laughs> um... Oh, there's a fight you're supposed to do here. Wow, we skipped a whole fight? Yikes. Well, sorry about this. Uh, you're getting fought now. Oh my god, the thunder takes out. <laughs> so many of them. Can I just guitar this, actually? No, they don't care. You must bowling ball. I guess if we were supposed to have done this before, they wouldn't have programmed these things to respond to the guitar. I mean, this thing isn't really trying to fight us. <laughs> it was just sort of standing in the way. I feel kind of bad about this one. And some platforms back there now. I don't suppose uh, that any of that made a chest appear. Yes, I see that there's nothing there. Very well then, I think I am good to look this one up. No, no point in spending too much more time here, I don't think. I don't know why this person refers to the treasure chests as socks, but they have told us where the final one is. Yeah, I'm sort of glad they did, because I, I think I probably wouldn't have guessed it too soon. Well, that's not a way I've ever died before, I don't think. This thing right here can apparently be destroyed with a sonic wave. I think we attempted it with the bowling ball and maybe by punching it before, but we apparently can break it just like that. Who knew? Not I. Woohoo! Finders keepers. keepers! Treasure 41, what was it? Was it a costume for SpongeBob? Plain Sponge SpongeBob. An aesthetic that only the true artists among you will understand. Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Bow! 
Well, Patrick, I'm going through something of my own right now, okay? I'm I'm exploring my personality, connecting to my roots. Yes, indeed. That's the 41st chest. Which, yeah, you know what the dumb thing about that is that, assuming you actually found every chest the first time, you would only get that uh, when you got to the, the final driving stage. Should have put it up around story movie four. <laughs> but let us not despair because we have the opportunity to try out plain Patrick now in Shell City. Dead ahead. Much like SpongeBob's, I expect you have some idea of what this one looks like. I have a bad feeling it just crashed. Sometimes it does this on the loading screen. Does it auto save when you get a chest? I don't know. Because <laughs> the last token we got was the driving things. Oh, it must do, because we have 98%. Would you like to try and beat your best time on this? Mindy, road? I don't think your transmission's coming in right. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it did lose my chest. Damn it. 98% only counts for story progress then, I guess. Ah, well, okay, give me a minute to go find them all again. <laughs> the ultimate test of my short-term memory. Do I remember where they were? Okay, I remember this one was the dominoes you do, and then the thing where you turn around at the end. I guess it doesn't auto-save when you get to the, the chests, because uh, in the Genki version, when it saves, it sort of hangs for a minute. <laughs> so that would be really awkward if you, it was on, like, a slide of a mission or something. Oh my... I'm just trying to get through this without dying. This setback aside, this actually has gone pretty well. I was expecting we were, to, we were gonna have to look up way more of these than uh, we ended up having to do, especially on Rock Slide. Also, this is a random tidbit that I'm not really sure why I'm bringing up, but I remember hearing recently that uh, somewhere that, oh, why can't I turn? What the hell was that? It was weird. Um, that in Plank Topple somewhere, there's like a secret platform you can go to that tells you all the developers' best times for all the race levels. So that would be kind of fun to find, perhaps. If not during this playthrough, then maybe later someday. All right, we got him back. Now, as I was saying, save that. Hallelujah. You probably have a good idea of what playing Patrick is, but the horrible, sad truth is, good grief, he's naked. <laughs> yeah, plain SpongeBob means he's a sponge. Plain Patrick just means he ain't wearing any clothes. You know, he's just Patrick is as Patrick does. Which is excellent, because we have uh, plenty of time to be in awe of the majesty of this form of Patrick. As we're going to be going around looking for this final chest now. Uh, and most, I'm going to guess, since it's a huge level, uh, just like now that we're men. Well, you know, it, it, it's bigger than most of the other ones. That we're, we might not find it, but you know, we'll have to use a guide. That's all right, though. Mindy, I'm, I'm not decent. Patrick, you got them all. You were wonderful out there. I was wonderful? <laughs> Distracting focus away from all of this by uh, talking about the his work on destroying the TVs. That's that's very clever, Mindy. You're gonna be a very wise ruler one day. Whoa, there's a piece of toast there. Can you hit it and it will go into the toaster? Yeah. Oh my god, that actually happened. Wait, did that do anything? <laughs> Wait, what if it's like a thing where there are like a whole bunch of those scattered around the map and we have to get them all on one life kind of dealio? I think I might have just unlocked a hidden memory. There's no way I just guessed that. If these to if there aren't multiple toasters and they don't all do something, I'll be very disappointed. And I guess this is the only thing they could do, really, except give you a whole bunch more manliness or something. I knew there was something about the outskirts of the map being important. All right, everyone, keep an eye out for toasters now, Consarnet. They are fully functional. But I bet it goes back in if you die, so let's be extremely careful to not do that. Ow! I said let's be extremely careful to not... Please. Oh, I've got the magnet, right? So I should be able to get this easily. <sighs> Thank you, magnet. Okay, uh, toasters, toasters, toasters. They'll be on the side with all the garbage. I.e. that side over there, so let's keep our eyes- Ooh, wait, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna have to throw some people at you, sorry. It's just the way of things. Get used to it, pal. Yeah! Maybe there are only, like, two toasters. Like, there'll be, like, one right at the beginning and one right at the end. I guess this place actually is pretty big. Why does he have a unibrow when he's sliding? What what the heck is up with that? Look at him! It's, he just grows a unibrow out of nowhere. Ay, ay, ay. Got me in my tummy and dead in my head. Stop throwing the ah, toaster! I spotted a toaster. Oh, shucks, is that right where I already was? Oh, bugger. Can I even get back? Oh, you are insufferable. There's no need for this. Oh, 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 okay. That, that is a war crime. What the shit was that hit, Bugs? <laughs> well, I guess now's as good a time as any to ascertain whether or not uh, the toasters stay toasted when you die. Can I hit this from here? I wasn't really aiming for that. Nah, I don't have the height for that. 
Well, I missed. Psst, nobody talked to me. Wait, hang on. I have a very difficult time believing this this toaster doesn't also do something. Surely that first one was a sign that you're supposed to hit them all. Maybe I can hit them during the Sonic Wave Challenge. Oh. If I find out this, this doesn't do anything, I would be pretty surprised. I guess you'd have to do it this way anyway if, if there are some, gonna be some before the checkpoint and some after. Right now I gotta do the rain challenge while focusing on finding toasters for goodness sake. Well, there's the one. Wait, this is the one, right? From before? Oh wait, no, this is before, wait. Is this Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge before the, the the level changes? I guess it is, because we didn't do the door yet. So that must be why I was confused before. I was like, how do they do this other loading screen? This is before the door. <laughs> must be. I always just assume they're at the end, because that's how they are in most of the other stages. Sorry, that makes a lot more sense. Sorry I was, I was expressing my confusion at that last time. Wait, I could have sworn I just hit that, that toaster and it did make a noise. Didn't it just go ka-chunk? Or am I losing my mind? Maybe you're supposed to hit the bread. I sort of assume you were supposed to hit the switch. Ah, there we go. Wow, the moody lighting in here is so cool. I only just noticed that. Yep, that bread is surely untoasted. We're gonna soar right by it here. And I'm gonna not take the ring and I'm gonna slam it instead. Two toasters toasted. I lose the challenge, but I win life. <laughs> uh, this gotta be a third one then, I guess, if that didn't do anything. Come on, where's the heckin' damn it? <laughs> all right, all right. Help me, oh, elder gods of the universe. By which I mean the internet. All right, the last one involves hitting three toasters. No transporting leaving the level causes a loading screen to, uh, that will reset all the toasters. Right, here we are. Okay, so I was onto something. Um, so the first one is right beside the heavy iron license plate, right? There's one you find. Oh, and there's one to the left of the TV up here. Is that what they're saying to me? Ah, the hidden one, of course, yes. All right, Smudge's melee attack isn't quite as powerful as uh, Patrick's, I think. And those things can kind of knock the ball away, except it still shocks them anyway. God, how many of these does it take? You're surely not supposed to be able to survive a shock to the face. Can you do the guitar while you're bouncing? You cannot. The hidden toast, but of course there would be one. But of course! Never mind it anyway, because we done did it! Yee-hoo! Final chest. And what is the final reward? I don't actually remember. Probably just another cutscene, isn't it? <laughs> and look at you look at that, it's spoilers too. So I won't play that. But that's what we like to see all 42 extras unlocked. Which means there is only one thing left for us to do, and that is to end the life of Sheldon J. Plankton. Oh, I'm joking, we're probably just gonna say hi to him. Yes, indeed, next episode, since we have all the tokens now, how many tokens is that, 62 or something? 67. With 67 tokens and 42 chests, the only thing that remains is to duel our, our showdown with Plankton. So, that'll be what we do next time. As the next video going on the channel, that's gonna be some more Ace Attorney Duel Destinies, yeah! We're presently at the start of a new case and it is looking oh so interesting. So as that, all chests were found with minimal help from a guide, but you know, I feel, I feel pretty good about the ones that we didn't get because they were kind of tricky. I mean, even figuring out that the toasters had anything to do with anything, I'm proud of. <laughs> but I guess I probably remembered that. Thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Movie Game. Next time it'll be our last. Hopefully I'll see you around. Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace! Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Not peace. Not just yet. There's a funny thing that I completely, completely forgot to mention before that I, I remember finding out one time when I was a kid. The front of David Hasselhoff's face is like a demon, and it's only like half rendered. And if you if you can manage to jump around here, you can see he's got like no... He's got like his... He looks so dead inside. It's so... <laughs> it just looks like... He's made of stone. And I just... I can't believe I never... I, I forgot to take the time to mention that when we were doing this the first time. I mean, look at him. <laughs> he looks like the dad from Who's Your Daddy, almost. Anyway, peace. So I'm feeling strange from the edge. The monster is like, or in the fat noise of the monster. <laughs>